ISRO has also released this other little bit of video footage showing just what needed to happen on the Vikram lander for the Pragyan rover to be able to make an exit and reach the lunar surface. All of this happening like clockwork, remote control, controlled from the ground by ISRO's hero scientists. This is how it happened. It was basically like a trap door, a two-segment trap door that needed to fold open and act like a ramp on the surface of the moon before the Pragyan could then roll out. Mechanical engineering marvel controlled from thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away on Earth in a control station in Bengaluru. That's where all this magic of science and engineering is taking place. So you've seen the video of the Pragyan rover rolling down that ramp. And here's a video of how that ramp was actually deployed. I want to bring in uh, India Today's Sagai Raj, who's with us live from Bengaluru. He's been at the ISRO ever since the landing. India Today's Akshita is, was also there on that historic night. Uh, she also joins us. Uh, Akshita, quickly to you first. Lovely images of, uh, or, you know, of that door opening, uh, allowing, the, uh, you know, allowing little Pragyan to... Uh, you know, get to where it's been dying to go, to the moon surface. Amazing to think of how all of this is controlled from so far away and all of it happening so smoothly. Very, very true, Shiv. Uh, and, you know, those images that we've got right now, I know we've all been waiting for it. Uh, this is a 26-kilo rover making its way down so smoothly, you'd think it weighs just about 4 to 5 kilos. Yeah. But essentially, you know, you see the way the mechanics have worked out so perfectly since the uh, launch to the landing to now. You're seeing how really ISRO has thought it through so well that it's so craftfully done. There are 26 mechanisms before uh, that actually has allowed the rover to come out in the smooth manner, Shiv. And all of that has been manufactured by ISRO. This is something that, uh, in fact, the ISRO scientists have told me about. They say, you know, everyone keeps asking us, how is it the Chandrayaan-3 costs so less and works so perfectly? It's because we've made everything from scratch. There's no question of buying from here, buying from there. Everything is done by us. So those 26 mechanisms, including the fact that it's going down that particular ramp that's put out by Vikram with those wheels, and then you've got it pushing through, going right down to the surface, all of that is made by ISRO. It's an amazing feat. I know it doesn't look like much when you see that and you're just seeing some device rolling down, but imagine how much effort is really taken for this to be such a roaring success, Shiv. It's incredible and uh, you know the engineering that's gone into it, it's a little dinky little thing, 26 kilos, six wheels, uh, you, know, uh, the, the, just, you know, a tiny little soapbox kind of thing. Uh, you know, it reminds me of the movie WALL-E, actually. Uh, and uh, uh, the fact that it's going to be doing some really incredible things that, 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 you know, that go way beyond how cute it is, is just how fascinating the story of the Pragyan is. Sagai, you've been speaking to the team at ISRO. You've spoken to the scientists who were part of the specific Pragyan rover, uh, you know, program as well. Uh, uh, you know, the 14 days has begun, Sagai. A very little time available to the Chandrayaan-3 program and uh, it is all systems go or action stations for the Pragyan which over the next few days must do an entire plethora of experiments on the moon surface. Tell us about that. Absolutely. One day of uh, lunar is uh, 14 days of the Earth and that is the reason all the scientists are in full-fledged working and not even giving interviews to all the TV channels. Mm -hmm. We had approached uh, uh, all the Viramuthu Vale and Kalpana and everybody. They said that not for next 14 days. We are busy. We are going to check every single thing on the surface of the moon, whether it is soil, water or whatever is available on the surface of the moon. And talking about this particular rover uh, and lander uh, ship, uh, in 2000 19 much before the launch of Chandrayaan 2, uh, we were the privileged ones from Bengaluru where the ISRO had taken to us to a factory where they made this rover and lander and it was on the Martali ring road and they had shown that uh, how it functioned and what all the experiment which was being done in 2019. Yes, it was quite unfortunate, it was a failure but uh, the uh, scientist according to Casey even who said that maybe maybe uh, we might have failed in Chandrayaan 2 but the scientists have never given up they are robust 
they are working hard and they are very rugged they'll definitely make it successful in chandrayaan 3 and that's what they have done and there are several experiment which was been done in the lab in the factories when they have manufactured this lander and rover they have used lander they have taken in a helicopter and thrown from a, a, a certain altitude to ensure that that lands safely they have changed the okay. mechanism they changed the hardware they have enhanced the software within the rover and lander now it everything has uh, yielded for them incredible incredible uh, you know the, the 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 expectations the weight of expectations on pragyan are high it's not just isro that's watching it's not just sagai akshita and i that are watching it's the world space laboratories astronomers astrophysicists everywhere in the world are going to be counting on what baby pragyan is going to bring to them and it's so lovely to think that it's just gone out there it's alone on the surface of course it has company from vikram i for one can't wait for pragyan to turn its camera around and send us that first picture of the entire vikram lander on the surface of the moon as well akshita and sagai keep tracking that i will come back to you thank you so much for that